Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we're in Genesis 25, verses 1 through 11. Tyler, I'm going to take verses 1 through 4. It says, And Abraham took another wife whose name was Keturah, and she bore him Zimram, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan was the father of Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Ashurim, Letushim, and Leumim. And the sons of Midian were Ephah, Epher, and Hanak, Abida, and Eldada. And all these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. But to the sons of his concubines, Abraham gave gifts while he was still living and sent them away from his own son eastward to the east from his own son Isaac, eastward to the east country. Sorry, take 7 through 14. This is the sum of the years of Abraham's life of which he lived, 175 years. Then Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, in the field which Abraham purchased from the sons of Heth. There Abraham was buried, and Sarah his wife, and it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac. And Isaac dwelt at Beer Lahai Roy. All right. So, uh, earlier in the scripture, the Lord had said to Abram, You shall be buried in a good old age. And he was. And he was. Uh, Ishmael will have a total of 12 sons. Uh, and they will all be blessed and blessed abundantly. The wife Keturah, uh, her sons through Abraham, they all went on to be blessed and became various nations themselves. And so Abraham, from what started as a guy at 75 with a wife who was 65 that uh, couldn't have a kid, becomes the father of basically a, a third of the nations that are in existence right now, just geographically, um, and ultimately by extension, basically every nation on earth is tied to Abraham directly or indirectly. Mm -hmm. um, and how did it start? Get up. Go from your country, go from your kinfolk to a land that I will show you. That's how it started. He got up, started walking because the Lord said, get up and start walking. You say, but, but you already, yeah, I know, I covered. It wasn't until after he got away from his kinfolk that the Lord showed him. But the Lord had told him, you'll be buried in good old age. The Lord told him, I'm going to bless you. You're going to be the father of many nations. Not just Ishmael, not just Isaac. Many nations. So I would ask you this. Do you think Abraham was just some poor wandering shepherd that barely scraped out a living from rock? Um, oh wait, we already looked at that. That whole region was like the Garden of Eden before Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. The blessing. This is how Abraham ends. A hundred years of walking by faith with God. That's how he ends. And his sons come together in peace to bury him. And his sons live in peace all the days of his life. Abraham started out rough, but he finished pretty good. You have some other thoughts? No, sir. With that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And Lord willing, Tyler, when will we see him again? Tonight at 7 o'clock at the Lake Butler Church of Christ in Lake Butler, Florida, either on our live stream or in person for a continuation of our Bible class on First Peter. Peter. All right. Till then, have a blessed day.